What's up, fellas? So I had a loyal patron supporter that wanted to know how to have a good personality. Okay, guys. Well, the first thing about this is, guys, you must have good social skills. Now, the thing about social skills is, guys, because a lot of people are going to say, well, how do I get social skills? Well, with anything, guys, you see, you can't sit in the house and play video games all day thinking you're going to get better social skills, just like you can't think you're going to sit in the house and play video games all day and be able to improve your charisma and your personality with women, your confidence and all the other shit with women, your swag with women. The only way you get better at it is by doing more of it. Now, I can just tell y'all some key pointers for some of you guys that don't know, and I'm just going to speak up on people that I like, okay? P good listeners, guys. All right. I, I think we all love or we got that friend that's a good fucking listener that don't, you know, judge you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you say something, you know, he give you his opinion, and but he don't really judge you. He just give you his advice. He don't really judge you, and he don't over-talk you. He more of a listening ear, okay, guys? Because if you really want a lot, somebody's, like, strong opinion, you would have went to your mom and dad with it. A lot of times you go with your friend... You really want to listen ear, but you don't really want all that harsh criticism and shit like this. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, having a friend that can criticize you. It's just that it's a time and a place for it. And sometimes you don't really want to hear all that. Like sometimes you already know you done fucked up or you did something stupid. And so you don't really need a friend that's going to pile on. Motherfucker, I already know I fucked up. All right. Yeah, I know I got the bitch pregnant. I don't need you to tell me I fucked up. Yeah, I, I know I fucked up. You know, that's something your mom and dad do when you're the fucked up. Then they just come pile on, pile on and tell you how dumb you is and how stupid you is. And I told you so and I told you so. When you go to a friend or somebody like that, a contemporary, or even an associate, you really just want like a listening ear. Okay, guys? So, part of, good thing about having social skills and stuff like that is having a good listening ear. Don't be over-talking nobody. Don't be judgmental and shit like that. All right? So, that's just part of it. But the biggest thing I want you guys to understand about social skills is you just going to have to do more of it. A lot of you guys don't socialize that much. And if you're somebody like me and prefer to be alone, then that's fine. But if you so, if you some if you a guy and you prefer to have a big social circle or something like that, then you're gonna have to socialize more. That's not me, but I understand. Hey, you know that might not be you. A lot of you guys are really extroverted, and so the only way you're gonna become real good at socializing is to do more of it, guys. All right, but just try to be a good listener. Don't don't want like chatterbox. Okay, guys. Number two, confidence. Now, the, the thing about confidence, guys, is I told you guys it's different areas of confidence. Now, you have a guy that is real good and confident with women, but then you put him in front of this camera right here on YouTube, and he'll choke up. Okay, guys? Also, you have a guy that's real good and confident with women, but you put him in a, a social setting, and he'll choke up. Okay, or he nervous. But you put him with women, he's good. But you put him in this setting, and it's a totally different thing, guys. So that's what, that's what I was talking about when I said there's no such thing as a confident man because everybody confidence wanes in different things and stuff like that, right? So in this era, area, you need to be confident in your social skills. Okay, guys, you need to be confident. Now, one thing that happens when somebody's not confident, they'll be nervous, and what y'all guys know what people who are nervous do? They turn to the chatterboxes. All right. Another thing a person try to do when they try to fit in real hard is they'll laugh at shit that's not even funny. Okay, guys? So y'all guys need to make sure that you have the confidence in your social skills. All right. That just comes from when you have so it's saying so let me put it to shit that y'all guys seem to understand better. Let me put it to with women, right? So this is what I was talking about when you become a dancing monkey. So when you trying to be liked real hard and shit like that, what ends up happening, what I was talking about is you turn to a dancing monkey. The same thing happens when if I was to put you around a group of people, you become either you're going to try too hard to fit in by becoming a dancing monkey or you're going to probably be talking too much. And that's nervousness. That's the same thing you do with women when you're nervous. That's when you're on a date and you're da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. She knows you're nervous. She knows you're nervous. 
Okay, guys. So, like I said, the only way you're going to get that confidence, because you're not just going to wake up out of bed and be more confident, is to be improve your social skills. All right. So you have to socialize more. Over time, you're going to just get more confident at it because anything that you do, guys, if you listen to the word, it's called social skills. And anything y'all guys know about skills is something that you can build up. Okay, guys? So the only way you're going to improve it is to do it. Do more of it. After a while, you're going to just be more confident and more confident and more confident. And you're going to re relax more and more in those situations. Okay, guys? The next thing, guys, is preferences. Now, this is key because if you, let's say me. Right. Let's just say me. I'm a red pill guy. Right. And then let's say you put me in a room full of blue pill guys, guys who think women are little angels and shit like this. Well, my way of thinking and the way I am. I'm not going to be a likable guy to them. They're going to think I'm the devil. They're going to think I hate women and I'm not a good person because of the shit I say about women because they're blue pill. I'm red pill. So the, the understanding when I say preferences is put yourself in a position to be around people that like the same things you do, okay? So if you're a football fan, you'll have a much better time making friends at a sports bar, okay? Opposed to, I don't know, going swimming and you never swim. You see what I'm saying? Well, if you put me in a red pill setting with a bunch of red pill guys, well, I'm going to have a much higher likelihood of being liked by them and having a great personality only because we like the same shit. So a lot of you guys, you got to understand that when you go and you try to be around people that don't have the same mindset that you have, it ain't got to just be red pill, blue pill. It could be a whole bunch of shit, guys. If, if you want to rob banks for a living and they want to fucking become a doctor, well, they're going to think you have a horrible personality. Okay, guys? That's going to be all in preference. But you need to put yourself in a position to be around people that got the same interests as you, the same hobbies as you. That way, also, you're going to be more comfortable in those settings because you fit in better. Okay, y'all got the mind, same mindset, so you fit in better, so you're naturally going to be more confident because whatever the conversations they're talking about, you're going to fit right into those. So if I go to a sports bar and I'm a big football fan and the guy next to me at the bar is talking about the Cowboys or whatever, blah, 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 I can hold this conversation because this is my, this is what I do. I like football. But if I go somewhere, well, you know, let's say a casino, I'm not a gambler. So if I'm around a bunch of guys that gamble and shit, I'm not going to fit into this conversation too well. OK, which makes me which now is going to affect how comfortable I am, which is going to make me feel awkward. OK, so to them, I'm not going to have a good personality because I'm not comfortable. OK, guys, so you have to put yourself in a position to be around like minded individuals, guys, preferences. And that's the same thing with women. This is why I try to tell you guys you want to meet women going about your everyday. See, when you get online and meet women and shit like this right here. Y'all hobbies, the only thing you know is she hot. That's, that's it. That's all you know is she hot. But if you would have met that girl, let's say, hypothetically saying, um, I don't know, whatever you, whatever you fucking like to do, whitewater rafting, I don't fucking know, horseback ride. Well, and that's something you enjoy to do or you just trying to get into it, that's going to be something that a lot of you guys say, man, you know, how do I hold a conversation with a girl? What do I talk about? And see, this is why it's so important to meet women Doing things that you love to do because that's what you're going to talk about. Okay? If I met a woman at a sports bar, well, guess what? If she at a sports bar, guess what we finna talk about? We're going to be, that's, now we in my element. Now I can feel comfortable in holding this conversation. When you meet these women offline and the only thing y'all got in common is that y'all are hot or whatever. And even if you hold a little conversation on the phone, right? You don't want to talk too much because then you ain't going to have much to say on the first date. So you want to talk, you know, 15, 20 minutes, but you don't want to talk to bitch y'all. Now you get on the front day and y'all ain't y'all ain't talked about everything on the fucking phone, right? So now the conversation is a little like ah because compatibility matters to women. It don't matter to you, but it matters to women. And so the conversation will go stale because y'all don't have something in common. Only thing you know is you want to fuck her. And see, that's where the issue comes into play where y'all just don't fit. And this is the same thing happens. When you try to fit around with people that y'all are not like-minded individuals.
Okay, guys? That's why you see a lot of people, they make most of their friends going to be at their work or something that they love to do, guys. All right? Next, social awareness. Now, <laughs> this is a funny thing, right? Social awareness. This is, this is what social awareness is, guys. All right? Let's say, hypothetically, on Monday, me and you was having this great conversation at the gym, right? I'm a trainer, you're a trainer, this great conversation. We were chit-chatting in the lunchroom, talking about an hour, about whatever, football, basketball, whatever, right? Just talking. The next day, whatever, I'm just not in the mood, right? I'm just not in the mood today. You ain't did that to me. You know, the, the, the full moon is out. I don't fucking know. My girl didn't suck my dick last night. Who, whatever the reason, the reason don't fucking matter. It's just, you know, we all got moves, right? We all got moves where we kind of like, the, I'm good this day and this day. I don't feel like being bothered. A lot of times, for a lot of you guys that don't know, a lot of that times that goes to your REM sleep. Like, y'all guys wondering where those moves come from? That come, A lot of the times come from how much REM sleep. If you don't get that REM sleep, you could be very irritable, all right? I ain't talking about where you just sleep and you just lay down and you just sleep. I'm talking about if you don't get that deep sleep, that's going to have a lot of effect on your mood the next day. So for whatever reason, I ain't sleep good last night and I come in today, I don't feel like being fucking bothered. When you got social awareness, you can pick up on that real quick. He don't feel, he, he don't feel like being bothered today. Somebody who don't got social awareness, they'll think like, okay, we were sitting here talking yesterday, good, and today the they can't pick up that you ain't in the mood to do all that fucking chit chatting today. All right? And so you have to have social awareness to know that when it's a good time, to be in a situation when, when it's a good time not to be. And the same thing goes for with your women, guys. Sometimes y'all guys got to know, oh, she, you know, she, you know, not that she's acting like a bitch or something, but you can tell she's a little uh, out of the day she ain't too much. You got to know when to pull back a little bit. You got to know that. Just because she was loving W on you last night and rubbing all on you, and you like, oh, man, it's great. And then now she done came home, and the day you would just tell, and you immediately think that she's losing interest from you. Had nothing to fucking do with you. She just, for whatever reason, hormones, didn't sleep well, boss chewed her ass out. Y'all guys got to know, have social awareness to know when it's a good time to be all in somebody's face and when to leave them a fuck alone. Okay? Also knowing when to joke with somebody when not. You got to be able to pick that up. I can pick that up. All right? I can, I can go into a situation, right? And you'll see, and y'all guys will see this, right? And you can see, you might see two people talking or something like that. And you might be cool with both of them, right? And then you just go interject yourself into that conversation. You got to be able to have the social awareness that my presence ain't wanted right now. All right? Not that they mad at me or nothing like that. Maybe they talking about something else that I got nothing to, you know, need to know nothing about or whatever. But you got to be able to pick up on that, their body language and their energy to know that this right here don't look like it's the proper time for me to interject myself into. So that's when you say, hey, you know, all right, man, I'll let y'all later. And you'll see some people, they're just, chit, 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 chit. when you ain't even much in the mood for that, or they not in, you don't, you're not inviting them. Now, you're not going to tell them to go away, but they can't pick up on your energy. They don't got no social awareness. They can't even pick up that they, you, you don't want them around right now. They can't even pick up that. And y'all guys, some of you guys don't do this with your women either. You don't know when you, your girl is like a little, you know, out of the day. She ain't all lovey dovey like she was yesterday. And here you go all on her. And you can't even pick up on the energy that she ain't even much into that today. All right, guys. So you got to develop that social awareness. You got to be able to, and this, and this is what's going, if you don't got that social awareness, this is going to great. Uh, go greatly into how somebody views your personality. If you overbearing and shit like this, or you just like, eh, just like you don't know how to give people space when they need fucking space. Okay, guys, like people just start to hate your ass. You know, like damn the motherfucker, eh, all in my goddamn face. You know, it's good some days people feel like being bothered, but some days people don't. Okay, guys, so you gotta have the social awareness to pick up on that. A dude that was at the gym, uh, I ain't gonna say his name, but my man was at the gym. We was in the break room. And then another guy came in, and he just came in talking about a whole bunch of da 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 And my boy walked out the fucking room, you know, and then the, when the other dude was still talking to me, so after a couple minutes, he walked out. Then my other boy came back in, said, man, I, don't wanna hear all, I ain't want to hear all that shit today. 
And see, he couldn't pick up the dude that came in there. He couldn't pick up on that. That the man didn't want to hear all that bullshit there. I can't even remember what he came in there talking about. But the man didn't want to hear all that bullshit there. You, y'all guys know how some guys come in there with all that hero talk. Nobody want to hear You know, he my man, he just walked out. He didn't want to hear that shit. And then when he walked out, he came back in. And the first thing he said, man, I ain't want to hear all that bullshit today. So it's a little simple shit like that, guys. You got to have a social awareness you know when people don't, when your presence is not wanted. Okay? And lastly, guys, you have to be in abundance. Because if you're not in abundance, what's going to happen is you're going to be too needy and you're going to be pushing too hard to make friends. Okay? So in, in an instance like this, say you got a couple of people at your job or something like this right here and you want to be friends with them. You want, you want them to like you or whatever. What happens is you end up trying too hard to get them to like you. You end up... You end up communicating with them way too much and this is not even a social awareness this is just they don't even want your friendship yeah you're a good guy and y'all y'all know who i'm talking about especially guys in school where you had this click and you you nothing wrong with you it's just that they ain't accepting new friendships right you have to have abundance mindset and don't be trying to and, and make them your friends fuck them okay boom you, you basically you know, offer the olive branch for friendship and they basically reject it. Okay, fuck them. On to the next. Okay. Don't be, hey guys. Hey, what's going on, man? Y'all want to go to fuck that. You see what I'm saying, guys? You have to be in abundance. You know what's gonna happen if you do that, guys? You're gonna be that guy that when you come, they're gonna start running the other way. That's what you're gonna be that guy. If you're not in abundance and you're trying to make friends that hard, when when they people see you coming like this. What they'll do is they'll try to turn out the way or they act like they're on their phone or put the headphones on. Don't be that guy. Okay, guys? So you have to be in abundance. All right, guys. So that is what well, is five ways that I said you can be have a good personality. Number one with the social skills, that just takes doing, guys. Learn to be a good listener. That's what I that's the biggest thing I think with social skills and being like just being a good listener. Listen more than you can talk. If you take nothing else from this, take that from it. Listen more than you talk. All right, guys, I'll get back with you guys.